What's happening everybody, Damien here from Global Trading Software, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick uh, guide on setting up alerts with our harmonics indicator on TradingView. So as you can see on my chart here, I've got uh, obviously a pattern appeared, it originally painted as a bat pattern, but then obviously as the, uh, as the candles changed, it then became a crab pattern. Um, and obviously it's come through, and this was your target zone here. Um, and then it's obviously gone down and, and hit obviously the, the targets after that. So the key thing that you're going to want to, to pay attention to here is this target zone here, okay? There's a top line and a bottom line, okay? So this top line here is known as the bear PRZ max line, okay? And the line underneath at the bottom of the target zone is called the bear PRZ minimum line. That's particularly important. Remember, it's the bear because obviously this uh, this pattern here is in red, which means we're looking for bearish signals. What you want to try and do is go up here to your alert section, and then you're going to create a new alert. So the first thing is condition. This needs to be whatever you're trading. So if you're trading a, a crypto or a forex or even a stock, you would make sure that it's actually what you're trading here. Okay. Now for this is purely for bearish uh, signals okay what you want to do is you want to change it to crossing up and then you're going to change this here from value to harmonics and you're going to change that to bear prz min okay don't forget to change this to once per bar close and obviously you've got your alerts then that you can set up however you want to do them what this effectively does let's just close that what this does for you is it's basically saying is you are looking for an alert when this PRZ minimum line is crossed up so the candle is crossing up beyond that line there and you're being alerted to that fact now the key thing here is pay attention to the chart after you receive the signal because because of the way trading view works we're unable to basically say oh if it paints within this section it's just the way the the, the coding works so it could be that your your candles just go right through and if that's the case then obviously that's an invalid trade but what you're trying to do is you just want to be alerted to the fact that okay fine my candles have basically crossed that line and they've crossed up through the minimum line uh, that's pretty simple so let me go and uh, pause this recording I'm now going to uh, open up another chart for a bullish move and then show you how we do it from there it's pretty much flip side but I'm going to give you the example anyway okay so we're back uh, this is uh, another pot uh, potential trade opening up so you can see here there was a, a bullish pattern a bat pattern but it didn't end up in the target zone so obviously it's not void however this crab pattern has completed in the target zone so the trade is actually currently playing out live at the moment um, so again we'll go back to the highlighter here and we'll talk about the two lines so here we have the bull PRZ minimum line and this would be the bull PRZ max line so in a very similar way to how you would uh, do things on the previous one you go to create alert again whatever you're trading and you want to change this now not crossing up you want to change this to crossing down because obviously it's got to cross down to then go back up so you clock crossing down harmonics and then you want to change this to because you're looking for bullish moves and it's the top line you're going to be crossing down it's the bull prz max again once per bar close set your alerts and your, and your message and everything uh, and then you click create and what that's effectively doing again like the last one is that bull PRZ max because again it's a green uh, it's a green pattern see so the bull moves you're waiting for the candle to like it does here cross down cross down through that maximum line there now again much like with the other one again keep an eye on things because obviously due to trading view we can't alert when it actually just finishes in there and it may just end up going straight through so just watch for that but again like I said what you're doing is you're crossing down uh, below the bull PRZ max line now if you do have other questions uh, or if you're not certain 
Uh, this is written down. If you go to the description on the indicator itself, we actually have it written down there, exactly what you need to do, how the settings are put, if you want it in writing. Uh, but if you're having problems, if things aren't working for you, or you have questions whatsoever, feel free to email me. My, ne uh, my email address is damien at globaltradingsoftware.com, and I'll be delighted to help you as much as I can. But thanks for your time, guys.